Hi, my name is Joshua Bennett, Product Manager at Tide, and I'm here today to explain to you how to retrofit a turbo edge siphon into existing installations where a turbo siphon is already fitted. It's useful to know, first of all, that the turbo edge can be applied in any circumstance a current turbo 88 is fitted, be that adjustable or fixed, or an S44R or an S111 siphon. Before fitting this product, it's useful to know that it is height adjustable from 7.5 inches to 9.5 inches, so it will fit all applications in which it's designed to. It is also dual flush as standard, but can be converted to mono flush, single flush, and we'll show you this later. Now, first you need to get access to your system. We've already taken the lid off here. You're going to need to unscrew your uh, screw here from your lever assembly so you can get the lever arm off. You're then going to need to remove the yellow pin from the old Turbo 88. And you'll then need to remove the siphon fully to allow you to change to the Turbo Edge. Now with your new Turbo Edge siphon to replace, pull the yellow pin. Notice how it's now captive, it won't allow you to fully remove unlike the old siphon. Pull the spoiler over section off. Then remove the up leg section. You don't need the down leg in this case because this is a retrofit application. Insert the new up leg section onto the old bite down leg. Note how it must sit onto that lug at the base of the down leg and you'll feel it lock into place. It won't rotate round when it is locked into place. Then fit the new spillover section. Push it fully home. Push the clip back into place. Then grab your old lever arm, connect to the C-Link and connect to your lever assembly. Not forgetting, of course, to screw back into place. One final check is to make sure that your siphon is correctly adjusted to the water line of the system that's marked here. We've conveniently put a wavy line on the yellow pin and you want that to match as close as possible the water line of your system so it's delivering the correct amount of water into your pan. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did find it useful and you have any more questions, please put a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, do subscribe as we load more videos in the future.